Okay, folks, what I want to talk to you about today, this is a 30 amp contactor. You have your line coming in, you'll have your line going out, and these are your low voltage contacts. I'm going to show you something. I had pulled the disconnect, but I just want to show you something here. The unit's running. Okay. I disconnected the power. You do not want to do this hot. You'll get yourself hurt and electrocuted. One thing I want to point out, though, the reason I did that, right now, the coil is energizing this existing contactor, so that means we have 24 volts on this coil. So what I want to do in order not to blow the transformer or the fuse that's in the air handler downstairs, I'm just going to take a little precautionary method. I'm just going to pull this up. I'm just going to put a little piece of tape on here. Just to make sure we don't short circuit the transformer. Once again, I'm going to get another little piece of tape. Twenty-four volts, you don't have to worry about getting shocked, but I advise you not to touch it anyway. Now, what we're going to do here, we're pull out our meter. We're going to always double check the voltage. Make sure we're dead. You never really want to trust the electricians to make sure everything's dead. Okay, look at this. It's on zero. 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 Okay, we're good. So now I'm going to take my screwdriver. Okay, so I'm going to take out the old contactor. I want you to look how pitted this is. Use my cordless drill to pull the... Now I've already taken one of the screws out. These contactors are held by two screws. Here's your line voltage. I've already loosened these wires. Now, the big thing about replacing the contactors, and I would recommend most people, unless they're a qualified technician, also, in the interest of time, if you just basically replace wire for wire. So I'm going to show you something here. Of course, this wire is dead, of course. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically lay my contactor here, and I'm going to match. A lot of times, your black wires will be on the left, and your other colored wires will be on the right. We'll talk about that later. I know my black wires go on the left. My other colored wires go on the right. I'm going to pick up my drill. I'm going to go ahead and fasten in my contractor at this point in time. Now I'm going to take my high voltage wire, 230 volts. Make sure these are very tight. Another good thing about this particular type of contact we're using, it'll keep the bugs, ants, down here in Florida particularly where you have a lot of the uh, geckos, have a lot of um, wildlife down here. Now I'm going through, I'm just going to double check. Now I'm going to pull my wires here. I'm just going to make sure everything's nice and snug, and it is. Now these low voltage wires, it doesn't matter on which side of the coil it actually goes on, okay? So I'm just going to be very careful, make sure I don't touch anything, and I go to put these back on. Once again, you can actually touch these wires, but just try to get in the habit of not doing it. And now as soon as I touch this, it should start pulling the contact. Let's listen. 
Hear that? It's pulling in the contactor. It tells me two things. We didn't blow the transformer and we just hooked up the coil correctly. Now I'm going to turn on the unit. Because the thermostat is calling for cooling downstairs, because we didn't short out the transformer or the fuse when we changed out the contactor, the thing came on a run. This is the part we replaced. It's just called a 30 amp contactor. This one here is actually a single pole. You don't have a double pole like the one we just placed. See how pitted this thing is? When you see a contactor that pitted and that nasty, you need to replace it because what you're doing, you're going to avoid downtime, breakdowns, service calls. If you have any questions about contactors and how they work, if you have any questions about where to get one, anything about it, low voltage, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. If you like this, please share, please subscribe, please comment. I'll get back with you. Thank you. Bye.